Hello everybody, this is Ryan over at High Carb Generator. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about accepting yourself as you are, why people come to the Durian Rider Protocols, if, is it for that? Um, maybe a little bit of fat acceptance, uh, some other things. This actually stemmed from a conversation that I had in a DM a couple days ago where a guy was talking to me about sleep, ironically, and he was saying that you, you should do everything that you can to block the, the blue light and and I said, you know, I, I have all my screens and everything to go orange and the light bulbs in the house, we uh, none of them emit like a blue light. Uh, he asked me what brand they are, and I'm sure everybody else is going to do that. I don't know. I bought, I mean, they last forever. I uh, bought them a long time ago. I do know that I bought them at a regular hardware store. That's about the only information I can give you. But anyway, it stemmed into him talking about some of the stuff I've said about myself, about being overweight and accepting yourself. And I have fully accepted myself. Like people will come on here and say that if, if you hear this noise of all hours of the day, they got to do their lawn as soon as I'm doing my video. Right. Um, so all, you know, it's just, you have to accept yourself. And I think a lot of people come into the Durian Rider Protocol or McDougal Protocol or whatever you want to call them, the, the start solution, maximum weight loss, doesn't matter what it is. And they have not yet accepted themselves. And I think until you get to that point, you really can't get anywhere. Like you're going to get some weight loss, but if you're not happy with the skin that you're in, you're going to struggle with this. You're, you know, you're not going to know why you're doing this. You're eventually going to get to the point. Somebody's going to make cookies. Somebody's going to make a cake, a cheesecake, whatever it is. They're going to plop it down in front of you, and you're going to eat it because you you haven't really accepted the situation that you have put yourself in. Now, nobody else did this, right? Nobody else force fed you. Nobody else had control of of how you ate. They put it in front of you. You didn't have to eat it. It's just like any other information. Like they put this in front of you, but you did not have to take it. But you did. And so here you are. And you have to accept it. And this leads me back. Like I told him, I said, I really, I don't have any interest. Like I had somebody the other day in my comments. I don't even know if I, I may have deleted this because I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't do these videos for, uh, help for me. Like I know how, I know how it works. Like I'm, I'm giving out the information. It may come across <laughs> like I'm asking for, I, I'm really not like, I, I know what works. I do know the sleep thing is an issue. I'm working on it. Um, biomechanics is also something I know I've mentioned this in a couple of videos. I have got to figure out how to make videos about this because it is astonishing to me how much biomechanics change when you're overweight. It's crazy to me, or maybe it's not even an overweight thing. It's maybe if you're stiff, like I went to, uh, a yoga years ago. Gosh, this was 20, 2016. <laughs> Everything else was in 2016. I went to this um, Ashtanga yoga thing. They're very hard to find. So when you do find them, I'll go to them once in a while. So I went to this Ashtanga uh, yoga thing and I told my, this woman, you know, the, the instructor about my previous days of weightlifting and that I was trying to get back into it. And she's like, you do not need to get into weightlifting again. She's like, you need yoga. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, you're a yoga instructor. Imagine that. No, but she, what she's like, your external rotate uh, rotation is is absolutely terrible, terrible. So this is a this is one thing I have got to talk about. I I knew what she was talking about. I didn't know what to do about it. Now I do. But this is, doesn't have anything to do, this is a side, whatever. This has nothing to do with uh, accepting yourself. But I had to accept the fact that I didn't know how to do it. And so I could move on. It's just kind of like, I I have to accept the fact that I am playing both roles in this house right now, the female and the male role. You know, the female is, in my mind, so much better at cleaning, uh, you know, keeping things clean and tidy and and, and, uh, you know, I'm really good at cooking and, and I get the yard work done and, it, you know, there's just a, a give and a take, but neither one of us is getting laid. And I have to accept that before I can move on and figure out that aspect of it because neither one of us is, uh, getting, getting, getting what we want. So I have to accept that. And I have, I guess I have not gotten to that point yet, or I haven't accepted the fact that I have to wait for somebody to come into my life anyway. 
That's an acceptance that I have to make. The acceptance that you might have to make is the fact that you may not have accepted how much you have accumulated in fat terms over the years. And, or the fact that when you walk in a room, people might look at you. You know what I mean? People are like, did you see that person? <sighs> what did they eat? You know, like I'm staying away from that or whatever it is. But you have to accept that you're the size that you are or whatever the build that you are. It's just like years ago, I was at um, I was at this insurance. I did insurance for years. I loved it, but I didn't love the aspect of if you don't sell, you don't get, you don't, you don't eat, right? I was really good at se selling, but there, you know, you go through lulls. and uh, so I, I haven't gotten back in anyway. But I, I was at this huge convention, maybe five, six thousand people, and I walk in the room. And I see everybody like turn around and look, and I I'm, I'm I see see one of my buddies that we were supposed to meet there. I I go over there, and um, he's like, "Do you ever notice that everybody always looks at you when you walk in a room?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, I've I've known you now for almost a year," and he's like, "Everywhere we go, this happens to you." I said, "Yeah, of course." I said, "I'm big," and he's like, "Yeah, but doesn't it bother you?" I said, "Of course not." He's like, "Why doesn't it bother you?" I said, I'm the only one here probably worth talking about. I said, they probably got a lot of good things to say about me. He's like, how can you say that? I said, I've accepted myself and my situation. I mean, my, you know, and I've moved on from it. And of course, I mean, I said, you, there's five or 6,000 people here. You have chosen to talk to me. Why is that? And he's like, well, you're, you're interesting. I said, exactly. There you go. A hundred percent proved what I was saying. And he's like, I just, I just don't understand. He's like, that would drive me nuts. And I said, well, you haven't accepted the fact that you might get looked at or something. I don't know. But my mom, you know, my mom said the same thing. She's like, you know, you, you sure command a room whenever you walk in. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like six foot and like big. So it, it happens. But people, ha you have to accept this sort of thing if you are going, if you're, if you're a large person, male or female, it's going to happen. You know, the one of the things that I noticed is uh, people will wear big baggy clothes or, uh, you know, like a hoodie. Like it's 95 degrees outside and this dude's got a hoodie on because he thinks that it's somehow hiding the fact that he's overweight. It's not. People can see. You can see it. Uh, we know why you're doing it. Just don't do it anymore. Just you have to accept why you are where you are when you're at there, you know, like, you know, like women who have big butts or something like that, they can't accept it. Some of them, some of them uh, flaunt it like crazy or a guy that's got a big gut. So some will brag on it. They'll stut their beer on top of it. They'll, you know, like they'll paint it, you know, at a football game or something like that. And some are like, oh, I can't handle it. You know, and that, and they go nuts. They go crazy. They start starving themselves. They go on a water fast. I, you know, they do all this kind of stuff. Meanwhile, dude over here is painting his and putting a beer on it. You know, so you get all this kind of different uh, all over the place. You, I, maybe you have to meet somewhere in the middle, but you have to accept it before the Durian Rider Protocol or the uh, McDougal Star Solution type thing is going to work. And initially, you're going to start losing weight. But at some point, if you have not accepted where you're at, you're not going to even accept where you get. You're, you're constantly going to be chasing, chasing, chasing. You're constantly going to be having that fat person mentality. And at some point, it's going to melt down and you're going to start eating cheesecakes and hummus and muffins and every other thing that got you to the place where, because it's comfortable. It's comfortable. And you can handle that. You, you, you have accepted that part of you, but you cannot accept the part of you where you're going or how you get there or when you get there. So if you can't accept it, you, you just, you're never going to move on. I don't think in my mind, you see this a lot. The people who relapse are the people who never could accept where they were. And they constantly talk about it. They constantly talk. They talk about how fat they are, the fat they were fat, blah, 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 blah. And they keep themselves there because whatever you think about expands and it's you you expand as well when it comes to this kind of thing so you really have to accept the fact that you ate a lot of food you accumulated a lot just brag about it i accumulated so much 
You can't believe it. I accumulated all this extra weight. I'm so good at it. I, You couldn't even do this. You couldn't do it. But I did. And here we are. And so you almost have to brag about it. It's just like, yeah, buddy. But not to the point of fat acceptance. I don't care what anybody says. These people, these land whales in fishnet stockings and stuff like that, no one wants to see it. You don't want to see it either if you're that person. Um, I, I'm not talking about fat except I'm not talking about 600-pound Johnny or 1,000-pound woman, you know, like, oh, I have 30,000 calories for uh, Thanksgiving, you know, my, my man fed it to me. Uh, look. I know. I've been there. I was 405 pounds. I talked to another woman. It was in, actually heavier than me. And we both agreed. We both talked about this. There is no way these people are happy. You can't even wipe yourself when you're that weight. You can't even reach, right? So you can't breathe. You can't walk right. You got to go to like, you know, the zoo, uh, the zoo surplus store to get pants and stuff like that. You know, the stuff that they would put on a fake, you know, the, like on an elephant or something. Like. It's nuts. No one is comfortable in that. I don't care what you say. A lot of these people are getting paid to look like that. Uh, I guess they've accepted the fact that they are just prostituting themselves to be obese. I don't know, but I, I it's just, there's no way that they're happy with that. And I don't think anybody should. It's just not normal. It's not normal at all. So you have to accept, I know I said this like 8 billion times, but you have to accept where you're at to get where you want to go. And people don't do that. I don't do that sometimes myself. I'll look at myself. I'm like, oh, I should have lost three pounds this week. And I didn't do it. Mad. And I start reaching out to everybody. I'm like, this diet isn't working. You know, like, so I, I go through it myself. Everybody goes through it. Um, but the less you talk about it, ironically, the, the faster it just moves. You know, you just do what you have to do. You just do these protocols. I don't 100% love McDougal's uh, starch solution. I think it, 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 it excludes fruit to the, too much. And he loves sugar in some conversations. And he hates sugar in others. So it's a little confusing. Durian Ryder... Protocols, I think it's the best, um, but I, I've kind of even adapted that too. So I, I honestly kind of use just the, I, I can't believe uh, all hours of the day uh, and they got to do their yard. They don't ever, uh, anyway. So you have to just move on from this, but like I, during rider protocols, honestly, I like this, the rice diet the best, but I don't like the starvation part of the rice diet. Um, but yeah, so you have to get to a place where you're happy with yourself in order to move on in my mind. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, comments, questions down below. This would help anybody share it, like subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.